Hello and welcome to part 3 of my F1 22 manager career mode managing at Mercedes here today for round 3 for the Australian Grand Prix a race that isn't considered to be too much of a decent one in real life but hopefully on the game we can make it better because of course off the back of Saudi Arabia it wasn't the best of races there but if you have missed it then do make sure to check that one out but as mentioned in the last video we're skipping practice because I'm not very good at it and let's go to the start of qualifying it's into qualifying now and Hamilton is at a personal a purple sector 2 which could this be promising or is this just a start of qualifying kind of misleading lap but he rounds the final corner though and then now up to the line he comes and he crosses it and he goes fastest but you can see his purple but look at the drivers the offset lap times drivers we should be beating anyway and now George comes up to the line and he's only slower than Magnus and Joe that's not very good but we're going to send them out on fresh tyres at least George anyway I'm going to risk it with Lewis and keep him in the pits because of his position he should be alright in P4 but George you can see where he is now very much on the bubble but it's Alonso he's locked up and spun it's the worst camera angle you could possibly ever do from there can't see a thing but George now needs to find a lap he's up on his set to times he's, he's dancing with death basically at the minute but he needs a good lap here and he crosses the line and he moves himself up in the to P5 and now looking down the order can the two Williams get out is Joe on the bubble Vettel's out Stroll's out Latif is out no surprise there and so is Albon and it's only Lando Alonso who can change the results of it and he does move up so now into Q2 and we're just going to let our drivers do the first couple of runs you can see George was briefly fastest but both of them up there Hamilton not having the best of laps George P4 but look in the drop zone as we come to the end Carlos Sainz He's out in Q2 for the Australian Grand Prix, similar to real life. And this is now into Q3. And I think it's George doing the competition a favour after setting his lap time. And he's blocked Leclerc on his lap as Hamilton now rounds the final corner and heads up to the line. Now crosses it and moves up into P2 on the front row could we get the first front row of the season as we skip on to the end of qualifying George is the slowest so we sent him out a little bit earlier compared to everyone else and now up to the line where can George put his Mercedes up into P3 good luck there by George Lewis out will be next across the line as he rounds the final corner now up to the line now can he get pole no he stays second it's got worse though is Verstappen's now on now second Leclerc on pole Perez is the only one who could really challenge but it's a Leclerc pole and we're down the order but we're gonna be splitting the strategy then for the race we're gonna have Lewis on the two stop and go aggressive with him and we're going to do the one stop with George starting him on the hard tyres and see how far he can take them but let's go to the Australian Grand Prix for the first sign of rain strategies might have to be quite flexible going into today's race exciting choices lie ahead then for the teams and their drivers here in Melbourne so let's see what happens the drivers have now taken position on the grid and it's looking like a cloudy day Let's look at Mercedes for a moment. With a top 10 position on the grid, 
This race could really go either way for them. And here we can see Russell. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. And we're just moments away now. Brace yourselves for the Australian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. So we're racing now in, in Australia. It's a good start by the front team. Can I allowed to do anything? Into turn one, Lewis on the inside of Perez. George is getting to the place by the looks of things. Perez squeezes out Lewis side. And now Lewis may come under threat from from George, which isn't good because we need Lewis to push. Into turn one though, no, no one's gained any places by the looks of things. It's still the car in the lead. From the two Red Bulls. From the two Mercedes. It's now we head for it on to lap two now. And the f top three are really starting to pull away from us. We're going to tell Lewis to push because of course we're doing the two stops. So see if he can close that gap to the ones at the f at the front. Whereas George comes under attack by Bottas and loses out to Bottas. That might be satisfying for the Finnish driver. But George is going to breeze back past him and up in the two. Back up where we was into P5. We don't really want to use those tyres, but it's going to be the Alpine to attack George next. Of Alonso, I believe that is. He's also overtaken Bottas. This isn't helpful, this isn't what we need. It's now around the outside. Alonso has caught Hamilton. This isn't good. Hamilton, can he hold on? Please hold on. And he does hold on, but Alonso is still there, but Alonso has to back out of it. This isn't good. I mean, we don't, we're telling Lewis to push still, but the fact we're struggling as Bottas is now overtaking George. You missed that, you can see sights in the background. This is what could have happened in real life. Yeah, we're going to tell George to defend though. We've overtaken Mazar, I don't know what I was doing there. But George defends around the outside of Bottas, but it looks like Alonso may be challenging Hamilton again. We're, gonna, we're telling each of them to just push now, use overtake, stay ahead. As there's Bottas around the outside of George, and George has lost out to Ocon as well. And now he's probably about to lose out to Carlos Sainz. He's kind of doing what he could have done in real life. If he hadn't been at that chicane on the second lap as he sails around the outside of George. That Ferrari nowhere near our Mercedes unfortunately. And George has lost three positions there in a matter of about five corners. But he's still there George and now Sainz has found a way through as Alonso really overtakes Hamilton. Do you want Alonso? He's getting on my nerves now. He needs to try and get him back. It's all happening behind. Doing some great TV camera angles here. Just just like in real life. We won't show the action. Here is Hamilton though. Re overtaking Alonso. We missed it live. But around the outside. I think Hamilton has got the job done. Yes he has. But you can see Sainz. How quickly he has gone through everyone. And I skipped on a bit, and Sainz cleared Alonso, and Anna had cleared Lewis, but Lewis is holding on to him, and Lewis is really overtaking him, which is very, very good. But you see, we're still, still telling Lewis to go flat out, and uh, there's now Sainz on the back of him, he's going to get him back properly now. As he gets closer, closer, closer down the DRS, is he going to go to the outside? Yes he is, and he sails around the outside as we enter Lewis's pit window for his first stop of the day. But, Sainz has run wide, and Lewis has sailed through, but Sainz comes into the pits anyway. Sainz pitting, 
trying to do the undercut maybe to get himself ahead of those as we can see here it is Lewis's time to pit and we are going to pit him I thought maybe going a bit longer but at first we wanted we were going medium medium and into the hard tyres at the end so that's what we selected but as we continue on now to watch Science, Science is going to box for the hard tyres so I thought we might, just, we might just need to hold just copy what everyone else is doing you can't go wrong if you copy someone else the fact it's we're copying Ferrari probably not a great idea but anyway we shall see so we're going to box we're going to box Lewis for the hard tyres this is George coming under threat from Bottas but we'll just we we'll take Bottas there As this is Sainz coming out of the pits and he's locked up and he's gone on over the grass and into the gravel. Just like he did in real life. And one lap later we box Lewis so we don't really have to worry about Sainz now. After he bottled it, a bit like Jensen Button did back in 2010. Bottas is for overtaking George and Lewis has come out just in front of them. Lando Norris we need we need Lewis just to push now and we're still telling him to push you can see there in the bottom left but Bottas gets past now I think George may have took him somewhere but Bottas is having him back he's now into the chicane Bottas squeezes George out George are you still there can George get back past Bottas he's in the tyre tracks of of the finish driver he pulls alongside the finish driver and he beats the finish driver down into turn one but Bottas is still there on the exit they side by side but George gets that exit and stays ahead you can see in the bottom right we have to told George to look out after those tyres but the most painful thing and the most annoying thing is that Lando has overtaken Lewis. Lando's not our, not our race. And Lewis is on fresh hard and I, I don't know what he's doing. We're telling him to push. He's got no whatsoever on those hard tyres. Bottas re-overtakes George. And now here comes Ocon. We probably should have not told George to back off so much. But around the outside Ocon gets past George and he is dropping like a stone now since we told him to look after those tyres this is Leclerc side by side with Verstappen and, Le and Leclerc you can't see it but he's actually spun and here comes now this is Lewis getting past Magnussen because he actually, actually did drop behind Magnussen at one point he's still behind Lando really really isn't helpful and now this is Vettel locking up and spinning everyone's spinning but in the most awkward position because we can't see it as this is Lewis finally overtaking Lando Norris very very much overdue but finally he gets the job done and now as we skip on he's caught the back of Joe now as we head down through the quick Chicane and he's got a run on him now. This should be easy peasy. But the half has got some great pace as we've already, already found out with Bottas and he stays ahead. It's now comes along so Trundling down the pit lane comes along so he stops in his pit box and goes into the hard tyres. The fact he's extended his stint means that he's probably going to be doing that one stop and it does look like it's turning into a one stop race so we may have messed up messed up here with Lewis but we are going to beat out Alonso and Bottas but we just need Lewis now to clear Joe and we may just do that uh, as you can see Alonso pitting and down the inside into that chicane 
into town for your other that you can. He gets the job done. Joe is fighting it though, but Lewis stays ahead. This is good for now. Yellow flags. And this is Leclerc. He's boxed. This is Verstappen now. He's done what Charles has done. He spun. Copy and paste, but, but he spun in races before in real life. I still want him. Just look at Hungary. But George has lost out to Leclerc because Leclerc had boxed. And you can see that one at the tie history, but we are getting to the the point of George's pit window. As Lewis is in a bit of traffic and as we can see with George now we are going to box him onto the hard tyres as we've kind of found out with Alonso. Very it's much turned into a one stop box. race, which is unfortunate for Lewis, so we're probably going to have to tell him to get these tyres to the end. So this is George now into the pits. So he's one and only stop with the way onto the mediums. Now you can pretty much go flat out on those medium tyres to the end of the Grand Prix. But where will he come out? Of course he's raising Bottas. And he's come out behind all of them. It's just at the end of the world because he's got fresher tyres, much fresher tyres, and he's on the quicker tyres, they're on the hard. So we'll so tell him to use tires. these tyres and we'll let him do his business and catch those ahead. We've got about 14 laps to go. As this is Lewis now on the hard tyres, if we're going to box him and do the two-stop, I think we need to kind of think about it now. We're telling him to look after the tyres, but you can see how worn they are already. 64%. They're not doing another 10 odd laps. So as we skip on now, quite a fair bit in this race. George is slowly catching those in front. He's got the fastest lap of the race, and we did. As this is the Red Bull of the Sappen overtaking our Mercedes driver there position unfortunately there. but oh, he's, he's not in our race is he for stopping in both oh, our races as look at that George as we skipped on he's carved his way through and now there's this massive Mercedes train behind Lewis Hamilton good good driving there from George it's a shame skipping it I didn't get any replays for it but now we have the dilemma Lewis's tyres are, are melted, they're gone, so I'm gonna. This may be completely box, pointless box. with eight laps to go, but his tyres are gone, they're, they're in the bin. So we have to do something, and he's just gonna get et up if we leave him out here. So we are gonna tell, obviously, tell him to back off for George, so we might as well. We may be throwing points away. We probably are throwing points away, but I don't see him staying ahead. So we have boxed him. This is him coming out uh, just ahead of Lando and Norris again on the soft tyres as Lando races him, and we do the best thing possible and cut to some cars. That's not dramatic. Just like the F1 TV directors, nothing new there. Is now George. Get the elbows out, son, and keep this lot behind. And we'll get a fairly decent P P4, but he's lost out to Ocon. Now he may lose out to the Alfa Romeo or Bottas, but he tries to hold it around the outside. Please hold it around the outside. And he has just there's a Red Bull in the background of Verstappen since his spin. With, and he does stay ahead of Bottas which is good, crucial and now here he goes back at back at, back at Ocon but he couldn't but here comes Charles Leclerc he spun and he still won just like Max Verstappen did in Hungary in real life Perez is going to come home for P2 Carlos Sainz give this man a round of applause, of applause. What a drive by him to recover to get on the podium. And George Russell with some very, very...
Bruised Ale Boys is going to come home for a very nice P4. We bottled it with Lewis. We probably could have just kept him out there. But I think the outcome would have been the same. And here today, George Russell making British motorsport proud. This was a good weekend for Mercedes with the results to match. This was an extremely convincing race for them. They won impressive team and they deserve to celebrate this properly. That's right, and they finished the race weekend in third place in the constructor standings. Now the teams will be looking ahead to Imola, where the season progresses with the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Get ready for some fierce competition. So that's been the Australian Grand Prix then. Very dramatic one, most dramatic one of the season so far in the career. Charles Leclerc leading the championship. He's been pretty much unstoppable so far this season in the three races so far. Unfortunately with that result in terms of the drivers, Bottas has jumped both of us, both Lewis and George. George ahead of Lewis now, which isn't ideal, bearing in mind we've basically just sacked Bottas and he's ahead of both of our drivers. So... That's not good, Latifi still last, like, they probably won't get any points this season. Ferrari, still second, we are ahead of Alfa Romeo, but Bottas is carrying Alfa Romeo so far this season. And for the first time, we have a regulation change in, in our career mode save. And we are going to go for them for next season you can see there what the regulations in tail as we head to the next race in Imola but before we go to Imola and end this video you can see that the teams have approved the idea and that will there'll be a new regulation change for the 2023 season but I hope you enjoyed this video if you have Make sure to like and subscribe and come back for the next race in Imola. Goodbye.